a defeat on uh, Friday then, what were the emotions like after that one? Uh, yeah, it was, it was a tough one to take. Um, it, it's probably one, one of the toughest for a long time in, in the changing room, but yeah, the, the biggest thing was that we did achieve some goals we set out to do in terms of sticking to a game plan, working really hard, wanting to get the fans back behind us and and getting that, that feel of, of King's Zone being a, a tough place for a team to come and play. And you know, Speaking to a few of the Saris boys afterwards, I think they were, they were just as nervous as us at the end there and obviously could have swung either way. Um, unfortunately, it didn't swing our way, um, but there's a lot we can do in that game to control a little bit more that we can control, um, execute a little bit better, and that's hopefully what we can do this week. And, and in terms of the game then, what were the positives you, you took away from the game? Uh, just, just the way that how well the boys fought you know it's, it's you're playing against a top top tide there and it was a low scoring game it was defense was outstanding from people like we're seeing scores in the gym today that the defensively what the boys put in you know the likes of Kirill, Matti Alamano they, they're putting in some serious numbers and it was a big shift from everyone um, and hopefully that's going to be that will be needed again this week um, and hopefully we can replicate it. And obviously to win in the last minute one week, to lose the following week in, in the same fashion, it just shows how tight the whole of the Premiership is now. Yeah, it's you know you, you look at the table. I think there's there's ten points from third to eleventh, and it's yeah, it's been everyone says it for a while now that you know anyone could beat anyone, but it, they really can. It is no, you know, every week you've got to be on your money like to the point where every week's just a huge game. There's no no weeks where you can back off or sit off. It's Premiership rugby is relentless, and that's why everyone loves it, and that's why we love playing in it. Um, and you know, hopefully, a few more come our way than they do the other way. And then switching back to Europe this week, does that bring a different sort of vibe to the camp? Yeah, it's exciting. You know, you, you play in a team that you don't get to play against very often, and in some aspects, you may never play them again. Um, so you, you want to go out there and give the best account of yourselves, even more than the normal. You know, it's you don't very often get Leinster, which is basically Ireland at King's Zone on a Saturday. It's it's one of those occasions that I'm really looking forward to and I know the whole place will be buzzing because of that and it's European days are special here anyway. Um, but bringing, you know, how many times they won the European Cup is it's, it's crazy how many times they've won it and they thrive on it. They they love the European Cup as much as as much as anyone and hopefully we can give them a good run for their money. And the atmosphere at King's Home you mentioned there, it's, it's been great the last two weeks, so switching to Europe as well, it's going to be a special one, isn't it? Yeah, you know, the, the, this place is, is special on any given week. And then you add in a Friday night like last week is, is even better. And then, like you say, European evenings are great. I'm, I'm looking forward to a one o'clock kickoff on Saturday. It's, it's quite nice, get up, get the game going. Um, it's nice as a player, you haven't got to sit around all day waiting for the game. Um, but I, I have no doubt that the King's Home crowd will be roaring and, and hopefully we can put on a spectacle and, and get a good win to, to help them. And in a really good position as well to progress and get through to the round of 16. Definitely, yes. It's, it's what we're after. It's what we're going after. You know, we want to be competitive in this competition. That, that's where we're at as a club. That's where we want to be. And hopefully we can do that on Saturday.